Hey guys, what's up? My name's Danny, aka Thriftfish. I'm an online fashion reseller, so I sell secondhand fashion on Poshmark and eBay full time. And as promised, I am here today with a what sold fast and slow in May video. I do these at the top of each month, recapping the previous month, uh, just giving you my top 20 fastest sales from Poshmark, uh, as well as five of my slowest sales, just to get both perspectives. Of course, I wanna focus more on the things that sold fast to give you an idea of at least what's selling fast for me, the brands, the styles, um, that kind of thing, and maybe that is also helpful for you. If you are new here and you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe, and if you like this video, give it the thumbs up. I am going to go ahead and start with items that sold within or after three days of being listed on Poshmark, and then we'll count down to two, one, and then items that sold the same day, and then we will look at the slowest sales but let's go ahead and start with an item that sold after having been listed on Poshmark for three days. That was way too many words. An item that sold after three days was a pair of Lada from Stockholm high peep toe clog sandals. These are like these very traditional looking clog sandals. This style is very uh, popular right now. So I decided to pick these up. I'd never heard of this brand before, but they sold after three days for $30, leaving me with $21.54. There was a shipping discount, uh, but I was happy with that. I am typically happy with sales $30 and over at my current cost of goods. Uh, next up was a pair of Lululemon on the fly jogger pants. Uh, these are a pretty popular style, um, but they did have a little discoloration on them. So they did sell quickly after three days, but they sold for $25. Still pretty good, a pretty solid sale, but it left me with $17.54. Again, there was a shipping discount. Next up was a brand that is doing quite well for me. Uh, is Zaya, Zaya Active, Z-Y-I-A, is a Spruce Havana Stripe Racerback Active Tank. Uh, I've listed three or four of their items and all of them seem to sell fairly quickly. Of course, for a tank top, it's not gonna go for a crazy amount, but this did sell for $20, leaving me with 16. No shipping discount there. Next up was one of my best sales for May, and this was something I highlighted in my sip and chip video from last Friday, was the Reformation Blue Talita, Talit, Talita? I'm, I guess that's how it said, midi dress, uh, very pretty, sold for $100 after having been listed for three days and left me with $72.55. Of course, very happy with that. Next up, oh, um, that was actually after two days. Sorry, we switched down to two days. Next item that sold after being listed for two days was a pair of Birkenstock, uh, just tan suede Florida slide sandals. This pair sold for $44, leaving me with $32.74. I love a good solid Birkenstock flip and that is one, I would consider that one. Next up, another brand that I love for a solid flip was a Miracle Suit Ruched Slimming Animal Print One Piece Swimsuit. This sold for $35, leaving me with $26.50. There's a small shipping discount there. But again, that one sold after two days. I love picking up Miracle Suit when I find it. Um, I just listed two more in my closet. Next up was a, another Lululemon piece. Is a scuba full zip gray hoodie jacket. Not much more than that, much description. Sold for $30, leaving me with $21.54. Have that on the screen for you. Next, after two days of being listed, a pair of J. Crew maternity stretch denim shorts sold for $22, leaving me with $17.60. I did check comps and that was kind of the the going rate that price it's a good price for a pair of j crew shorts it was my first time kind of trying just like a maternity pair of shorts um but they sold really fast next up uh and this is the last item that sold after two days was a nike victory swoosh racerback sports bra these typically do well for me selling for 
around $20. This one sold for $20, leaving me with 16, um, which is pretty solid for a sports bra. Um, we have another sports bra next. These are items that sold after one day of being listed. And this was also featured in my sip and ship video was the Lululemon Energy High Neck Polar Shift Sports Bra. This sold for $46, leaving me with $35.30. Again, a very small shipping discount there. Next up, um, and these next two are together in a bundle. Uh, I put this on my Instagram and I think I might have mentioned it in a sip and ship at some point was the brand Wool X. Uh, these were both Wool X brand uh, merino wool or merino wool blend uh, long sleeve shirts. They sold in a bundle together. So I'll just go ahead and put that up on the screen. So those were the next two. Uh, super fast sale, super awesome sale. I think they sold together for $80, uh, which I was super happy with. And I would snag Wool X anytime. Um, I even had somebody reach out to me uh, with one of their uh, Wool X sales after having seen uh, my post about it. So that was exciting. Next up uh, was a pair of Madewell leather Francis loafers. These sold again after one day for $37, leaving me with $27.14. Next up was a men's item. This is the men's brand Roan, which I believe I did a Bolo brand video about possibly but this was a dark green quarter zip pullover uh, and it sold fast for $36, leaving me with $26.34. I would definitely recommend picking up that brand if you see it. Next up was uh, an item that I was debating picking up, but I figured Lily Pulitzer love their Lily. This was a Lily Pulitzer Luxletic Cara long sleeve tee, just a super soft, like kind of tunicky long sleeve, cozy, lounge shirt. It sold fast. It sold for 26, leaving me with 1834. I was happy with that. It wasn't print. It was just blue. Nothing crazy lily, but it still sold fast. Next up, and I think these sold in a bundle. They did. They sold in a bundle together. So again, I'll just put that on the screen. You can see the breakdown. Um, and I think there is one other item in this bundle, but two sold together was a Faraday Avery Linen Beach Stripe Top in Daphne Stripe and a Cloth and Stone Tencel Green a pair of utility joggers. Uh, they both got listed around the same time or like right next to each other. Somebody bundled them with another item. And so you'll get to see that breakdown, but good bundle. Uh, the next, there's only two items left. One is a pair of A-Gold Sophie High Rise crop denim skinny jeans. I love to sell me some A-Gold. These sold for $40, leaving me with $29.54. And the last item that sold uh, the same day was a Wild Fang cotton floral short sleeve button down shirt. Um, I was excited to find, I found two Wild Fang shirts. The other one's still listed, it's just a plaid shirt. But I was excited to find this brand, first time finding it, and this was just a cute floral short sleeve button down. Um, and it sold for $38, leaving me with $30.40, which is super solid for me. Yeah, so those were my fastest and honestly, probably some of my best sales for May. But let's go ahead and flip the coin and look a little bit at five items that took a long time to sell. And maybe talk about why or, yeah, what happened there. <laughs> so first up was a Diane von Furstenberg cotton jacquard mini dress. Now, I'm not necessarily mad at the sale because it did sell for $30, leaving me with 24. Again, like I said, $30 sales are great for me. Uh, and it wasn't like it was a DVF wrap dress or anything like they're known to sell. Uh, so it sold after 123 days of being listed, but again, I'm not too mad about that one. Next one was another sale that the price was okay. Again, $30, leaving me with 24. But it was a pair of shoots, Kat, uh, I don't know how to say the name, the style name, cannot say it oyster suede 
ankle pumps. Uh, just maybe not the most current style of shoots. I typically do like to pick up and sell shoots, but it took 155 days to sell. Oh well, lesson learned. Next up was a Helmut Lang spaghetti strap, just a little black dress. Um, this had like some fraying on the straps, which I wasn't sure if that was purposeful or not, uh, but it sat for a little bit. I typically get decent interest in Helmut Lang items, but this one sold after 159 days of being listed for $28, leaving me with $19.94. You know, could be better, but again, we'll take it for how long it was sitting. Next up was a pair of Maypole suede ankle strap espadrille sandals. This brand typically doesn't do too well. I think I got these donated or in a bulk shoe box. Um, I just threw them up. They sold for $15, leaving me with 12. That's not too terrible for that brand, but they sold after 204 days of being listed. So quite a long time. And the last pair, which I was surprised, uh, didn't sell uh, for, it took 228 days, it was a pair of Lamoda metallic pink zebra print platform creeper sneakers. Um, I just thought they were really cool. Like, you know, maybe a little different for what my closet typically has, but um, they took a while and they sold at $20, leaving me with $14.50. So I definitely think I had higher expectations for those, but again, we live and we learn. Those are my slowest five sales. That's what I have for you this month. I'm pretty excited about my fast sales uh, and this month is looking very good. So I'm excited to share with you uh, whatever happens next month for my June video. But let me know uh, what is selling fast for you right now. Do you share any of these brands or styles with me? Uh, and again, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. I super appreciate it. Leave me a comment just to say hi, whatever. I appreciate it all. Again, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you again real soon.